So here we have pussy toes. This particular ones and pussy toes are tough to identify. There's at least six of them around here in Virginia. Uh, these look to be, uh, I'm guessing, Parlin's pussy toes, but they could be plantain leaved too. As I look at the the leaves, the only reason I'm thinking Parlin's is because I think uh, I think the plantain leaved have uh, different size flowers like this does, but the lower ones are male, and these flowers look identical to the other ones. So I'm suspecting that they're that this one's Parlin's uh, pussy toe. Uh, pussy toes, um, their scientific name is uh, Antenaria. So these ones would be either be um, Antenaria parlini or would be um, uh, Antenaria uh, platenifolia, I believe. But regardless, um, they are called Antenaria and you know, plantain lead versus Parlin who had discovered them because some people think that the actual tops, the flowers on many species look like a little animal antenna, but um, uh, insect antenna. But, you know, again, that's a little bit of imagination. Pussy toes in general grow in really hot areas. Um, they, 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 they're evergreen, uh, but must, many of them are silvery in color, so they're, maybe green's not the word, but they're evergreen, staying green the whole year round, and again, could grow in very dry, rocky conditions. These particular ones, as you can see, I've actually stuck here in the cinder blocks that line my house with the impregnable border of my neighbor, Ugh, with all the English ivy. But uh, anyways, this is, uh, this is growing here, and here you go. Look, here in just one of the worst habitats possible in the hotness, which is a, um, which is a cinder block, and here it is growing. Pussy toes have some other names as well. Some people call them everlastings, although a lot of the plants go that name because, again, they're evergreen and they, they flower for quite a bit. And then they're also sometimes called a ladies' tobacco. Um, I've heard that some tribes smoke them. I didn't realize, you know, that, uh, that you know, why they would do that, but that is one of the names for them. The, uh, the other uh, thing about these plants is that you can plant them in some difficult situations where they form solid little mats. Uh, and again, are very difficult to tell apart. Uh, they host several plants, but the most common plant that they have, is, uh, the, 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 I'm sorry, they host several butterflies, but the most common butterfly that they have that has, serves as a host or caterpillar plant for is actually um, uh, the painted lady butterflies, but they serve other things as well. Anyways, very, very cool little plants. Here you go. So pussy toes can be great little plants to plant in on uh, hard, harsh, hot situations, rocky ground, and so forth, uh, where they will slowly spread and form an evergreen thing. They do offer some food for, as I mentioned, certain butterflies, like the Painted Lady. This particular one, it's kind of hard to see, but this one's hosting all sorts of aphids as well. So very cool little plant. I'm glad I have it here um, that I've, uh, you know, that I've been able to plant it, even if I don't know the exact same species, to grow in this hot, hot bed.